app which is available for Android phones. To see the keyboard information, you go to settings and go to system here system and then you have the setting for keyboard and on the keyboard you have on screen keyboard which is gboard i have this keyboard enabled and you have to make sure you have this option enabled google voice typing automatic and also it's good to block the offensive words just in case and languages you will have the default languages from your typing keyboard but you could have more and uh, offline speech you have the offline speech settings where it can recognize the words without being connected to the internet you only connect to download the information and then you you can start typing with the voice so default downloaded languages english us so I have voice typing here and okay the Gboard app is ready voice typing is enabled and all I have to do is open an app to type something for example I will take a note here I will have this notes app and this is the Google keyboard Gboard and you have some interesting things here for example Okay, this is the the gboard google keyboard and here you have settings where you can change settings languages and you can have glide typing if you wanted to you can have voice typing and also make sure you enable this option faster voice typing to download offline data so when it downloaded the english us for voice typing it's because of that and i can also have a clipboard history so i can get the first the last few few things that were copied in the clipboard which is really useful could even save recent screenshots maybe not enable this one or maybe enable it you have a lot of settings here and the app is on the play store let's go to the play store this is the app Gboard, the Google keyboard. I think it's a very good app. Yep. Okay, so let's start typing something. First, I will have to press on this I will have to press on this note here on the microphone and now it's listening to speech and it doesn't really get anything because I'm too far so I have to get a bit closer let's try, let's try to get a bit closer okay so press on the microphone press on the microphone and it will start to type uh, I don't know how to write uh, here because it's it's mixed with uh, English and Romanian languages so it's getting confused now to fix that you set the language you force the language so long press on the space bar if you are going to if you're going to speak in a specific language and you have multi-language enabled here you long press on the space to set it on a specific language so it's English now just this will help the Gboard voice typing to recognize the words correctly and then press on this press on this microphone icon here now I'm typing with the Gboard app keyboard actually it's a keyboard and I don't really know how to make a full stop a new line Ah. <coughs> cough okay full stop new line uh, what to say I don't know this thing I hope it can recognize what I'm saying even when the phone is away from me now the phone is about I don't know 70 centimeters away from my head 
full stop new line. Oh, that was nice. It could recognize the actual instructions. And I am sure there are a lot of other instructions for the voice typing, but I don't really know them. I only know the full stop and new line. Yeah, full stop new line. If I want to say something and then say comma, yeah, that works. And if I want to say semicolon, that also works. Semicolon also works. And colon, colon, I don't know. I don't pronounce it well. So yeah, full stop new line. This is how you type with your voice and it's very easy to send messages like this. If you send a message in WhatsApp, for example, or in Telegram or in any other chat app, this is much easier and you don't have to send a voice message, full stop new line. I really, I really always prefer. Yeah, you see, it's not getting it always right. Select all text. Control A. It doesn't select all the text. Yeah, some things you have to do manually. So I can select all the text here, delete it. So now I can start typing with the Google keyboard, Gboard. And I can say full stop new line. And that means there is a new line to start typing, comma, and it's really actually I, it's not you're not supposed to say end after comma right but yeah it got it, it entered the comma so every time you say comma it will put a comma there it will not write the word comma but now it did it so yeah it depends on how it feels like full stop <coughs> new line new line new line yeah so it will make a new line every time when you say new line and full stop so this is a really nice way to type when you want to send messages in whatsapp or in telegram or in other chat apps and you don't want to type your hands are busy but also you don't want to send a voice message because the voice messages can be difficult to read or to hear full stop new line i don't know it got it wrong there you have to be really close to the phone i think full stop new line i believe you have to be very close to the phone you hold it to your mouth as you speak when you're on the call or something and like this it's much easier to read on the other side and if some of the words are not right we are uh, as humans we can get the idea of a sentence even if some of the words are wrong full stop new line new line again thanks for watching and i hope this video helps you and let me know in the comment section below if you use the voice typing and if you use it with the gboard app the keyboard from google or if you use another app and which one is it thanks for watching Okay, I wrote so much here, that's it.